Tony, did you see the kind of focus and effort from your guys tonight that you hoped to going into this? I did. Um, I, we talked about really being alert and ready. Uh, you know, you watch them and you can see they can they can hit threes quickly. You have to be back in transition and, and quick to closeouts. And um, it was the idea of not just being ready, but being good. And um, and we talked about that. And I thought, you know, we got off to a really solid, good start with the 12-0. And uh, Ty was making some shots. I think they, they usually play zone, but we brought them out of their zone where they went to man and um, got some good opportunities for uh, some of the other guys. And again, some good things happen. Some areas certainly can go to work on, but uh, good balance. Hopefully, Jack's all right. Coach, you left Ty in the starting lineup still. Uh, how good was it to see him come out of that slump he's, he's been in tonight and just kind of doing a lot of good things out on the floor tonight? Yeah, no, nah, he's, 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 he's a neck up player, as we say, and, and he was um, sharp tonight. And, you know, obviously he, he hit three for three from the three, and I did a good job whenever he caught the ball in the middle of the zone, and I thought he was sharp tonight. So we always talk about finding an alternative score. Um, it wasn't needed as much, but early it was, and Ty did a good job. You were offensively pretty efficient in the first half. The second half, maybe not so much. Product of not lo losing focus, maybe, the opponent, the score. Is it hard to be crisp in a game like well, that? Well, I mean, we, we tried to play a lot of guys and give guys looks and opportunities. And um, you know, like I said, I think the, the starters did a good job. Sometimes when we came in off the bench, we weren't as sharp. And that's where they we had some lapses there. But those are playing minute, valuable minutes and opportunities for those guys to just get experience and play through mistakes, um, work defensively against teams that are trying to, you know, quick sh shoot it quick and get down the floor. So I think some, some of that was a result. I thought our first unit started the second half well. Um, and whenever they were out there, it was good. And you know, it was good to get minutes for the other guys. Doug? Yeah, to follow up on this, your, your subs played more minutes than your starters. Is that something? Am I correct? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I was pretty balanced. Everybody, I didn't even I think look at it. Slightly I mean, over 100. Yep. Uh, is that something you thought about at all before the game? Do you allow yourself to, to think about it? No, I thought, you know, again, um, Savannah State, you know, I was watching them. They were in a 10 point game with like nine minutes against Baylor. And a team that shoots like that, they were in a lot of games in the first half, and usually there was separation. They're on quite a road trip, and <laughs> they play quite a schedule. And I thought if we were fortunate enough in this game to play solid, what a absolutely can we get more minutes, more playing experience for the guys that uh, haven't gotten as much. So uh, I, I thought if we played well, I always think that if we can get a lead. That's why sometimes I, I'll get frustrated if we're, we have a bigger lead and then we have a lapse and we can't get those valuable playing experiences for the, the, the new guys or the guys coming off the bench. You have one more non-conference game before you <clears throat> play BC. Have you learned as much about the team in this early portion of the schedule as as you would like to? And do you have a better read on your team? I think so. I mean, I, I think we got a pretty good feel of who we are. I mean, okay, we'll start watching film on Hampton and get a feel for it. But we obviously know how good the ACC is. That goes without saying. And um, I think you'll continue to be in, in so many tough battles against high level competition and we just have to keep improving and um, I like the leadership I think that's emerged as I thought it would with Isaiah and Devin and Jack our captains uh, we talked about empowering them from the day one and they've done a good job and you know continuing to try to find uh, different guys at different times to step up and score and so um, those are some things that we've seen and hopefully we'll, we'll continue to evolve and develop. Uh, what did you see from Jay tonight? Obviously, he got some, you know, extended minutes. Yeah, um, he followed out quickly. <laughs> I saw that he got his time. Um, you know, he saw him block some shots. I think these a game like this that guys can step out. And when when the big kid was in, that was a better matchup for him. When it was, uh, you know, there he was guarding one of the perimeter guys. That was a little bit challenging. But um, I thought he did some good things. And there are some things certainly that you know he can work to improve on. I know he was a little frustrated, but there's flashes, as I told you, if with. With DeAndre and Jay, I think they show flashes. It's just becoming consistent, and that's why those minutes to play in that setting are very important for those guys. Mike and then Doug. You just mentioned DeAndre. I'm, I'm curious, at this point, you've talked about matchups. How good a field do you have for what he's going to bring to you this year? And are you happy with kind of where he's progressed to this point? Yeah, I think 
he, it's been a little inconsistent um, with DeAndre. You know, he, he got to the line, which was good. Um, I like how he's evolving as a defender. I think he's really, with his length, he's embraced that role, Garden Carter at West Virginia. And um, I think defensively he's coming. I think he has to find his um, him, himself or his niche offensively. I think that's, you know, whatever that is, letting it come, trying to find opportunities where he can get his shots and play with confidence. Um, but I do like what I've seen defensively, and I think that that will be valuable. And hopefully we can find ways, you know, when he's out there to, you know, whether it's you got a post up tonight, it, it didn't go as well, but he can score in the post and get mid-range things and, again, use his length to be effective or a factor on the defense men. So I think there's more there. And um, But, again, uh, all these guys are young and new, Jay and him especially. They sat out a year. and. Um, Marco showed some good things tonight too, so I was pleased with the experience. Okay, two more. Doug, and then Ten points, five rebounds, three blocks for Jack Salt. That's yeah. a line we haven't seen, stat line we haven't seen often from him. How important is that for for him to give you some scoring? Yeah, no, it's good. He we threw it inside. You know, we said if they're going to switch, you, they play ninety five percent zone. And again, I think we were pretty efficient, so they went man. And I thought we were real sloppy in our man-to-man -man offense against Davidson. We were pretty good. And then once, I think, in the second half when they did it, I said, let's look inside. We have some mismatches. And I thought uh, Mamadi got a couple looks, missed him. But Jack used his physicality. And it was good to see that. And um, yeah, now anytime we can get some interior scoring, that, that helps us. And so first to see Jack make a couple strong moves and get deep position, which he can do against a lot of people. Um, those will be opportunistic baskets or the right kind of baskets we'll need to balance us out. Um, you talked about Savannah State and how they, they're on this epic road trip. But yeah. I mean, obviously, that's kind of a reality for a lot of MEAC SWAC teams. Do you think that's like a good thing for college basketball, that they kind of have to do stuff like that? Yeah, Just well, I mean, I, I know, I mean, they, one, they, that's part of they make a lot of money playing those games. I think that's in football too. But um, you know, to them, it's about their conference. It's about getting as ready as they can. Hopefully, helping. I would think the budget. I might be out of my realm here, but um, but then getting ready to play conference ball. And you know, usually those leagues, you you have to win your conference tournament. It's an automatic bid. So that's kind of what they're preparing for and getting experiences. But I I saw the teams that they have. I think they're going to Michigan State next. Um, and who they've played, and they've they've seen a lot for sure. So I think those guys were road weary tonight. You could see it. Um, not not number four. He was he was all right. He liked JPJ. Uh, was his name? I got to give him his John Grant. Yeah. But um, is it good for college basketball? I, I mean, it's just I think it's okay. Yep.